We're back. Um, what are we doing this time? This time we're gonna go towards doing the next thing, but it's really far away. So, so far away. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I don't even know. Be right. Yeah. I don't even know what song you're singing. Uh, Dragon Force. I want to say Operation Ground and Pound, but that might be through the fire and the flames. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so, like, last time we got this ice beam, right? And there's yeah. an ice beam door right there. So you're probably thinking, oh, we have to go over there. Nope. Mm -hmm. Not at all. But I want to go in the reflecting pool. I want to reflect on my life. <laughs> <laughs> you can reflect on your life later. Also, I, I disabled the uh, the game's HUD. Yeah. So. What's, what's uh, that? Oh, what's the HUD? Uh, I used to know. All, all, all the display stuff. So now I can't see, like, anything. Like, I can't see, like, how many missiles I have or how much oh, HP I have. Oh, yeah. Well, I, why would you do that? Because I'm a pro. And yeah, I'm... But, but I feel like you're more... <laughs> see, for me, I feel like that's part of her suit. Like, I feel like it's okay to have that if you're playing as Samus, because she's got, like, a mask on, so it would be like... Oh, whoa! Yeah. Whoa, we just saw her eyes, right? Yeah, a reflection in the visor. Whoa, that's weird. See, but, like, that's part of the suit and stuff. Every, like, all that stuff. Like, yeah. all right, whatever. Do what you want. Do what you want. It's fine. No, I'm, I'm just playing, you know, pro mode. Even though we're not on expert mode, we're on, like, normal mode. But, I, you know. I just feel like Samus wouldn't do that. She'd be like, yeah, I need, I'm going to keep my HUD up because I'm a... Uh, well, yeah, in oh. real life, you'd be like, oh, man, i got to monitor my health so I don't die. <laughs> <laughs> my vitals. Yeah. So while you were while you were figuring out what to do off screen, like, because you were like, oh man, I need to like research, so we don't waste time. Yeah, I, I had to figure out where where to go next because I completely forgot. I was trying to download MBTI apps because I, I I already know I'm an ENFP, but like I was like I'm gonna <laughs> like just taking a little MBTI test anyways, just cause I felt like well, like oh why not? I'm like ah. Nope, none of the ones on, on, like, the Google Play Store that are free, they're all, like, worthless. Or, like, the ones <laughs> that look like they might work, they're, like, in, like, Russian or something. Yeah. And I was just, like, they were all just, like, garbage things that were, like, not, that, they were, like, stupid. So I ended up playing Secret of Mana. <laughs> 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 just, like, upgrading my weapons. I got the sprite. But I was, like, I'm, like, I already know I, I, I'm an ENFP, but I was just, like, ah, oh, let's just check, double check. <laughs> like, <laughs> let's check again. Let's see if let's see if my opinions have because I changed you know I changed my medication and stuff and I was like I want to see if 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 any of my viewpoints have changed if it's affected my uh, core programming. <laughs> um, a little more fall. Yeah, time for some more bowling. Oh, this thing it's so stupid. I hate it. Hey, it's multi-purpose. <laughs> it does so many different things. It's so it does so many different forms of stupid. <laughs> <laughs> but we got a new energy tank. <laughs> Aren't, aren't you happy? Yeah, that's not the point. <laughs> Nothing ever makes you happy, Trevor. Lots of things make me happy. It's just... I just... It's the arrogance of the Chozo being like, <laughs> we are these superior beings. <laughs> and yet they've created this nonsense. If they just created it just for fun and just were like, hey, we're a bunch of goof-offs who just decided to do this because we felt like goofing off and being silly, I could respect that. There's a certain level of, like... But they're like, no, no, we're the Chozo, the chosen guardians of the galaxy. <laughs> it's like, they're acting more like the actual guardians of the galaxy from Marvel. Like, <laughs> like yeah, that that would uh, that would explain everything. Yeah, I'm um, I'm totally just morph balling my way through everything. <laughs> morph balling my way. The game is not meant to be played this way, but this is like the newest version, and they added the the jump ball. The so. jump ball. Hey, man, if it helps speed things up, that's fine by me, man. Yeah, more speed running. Also, let's face it, if I had a morph ball, I would roll around in that thing all the time. Yeah. Like, roll in, roll in, roll in. Keep those doggies rolling, ride. All right, so now we're back. Oh, these guys. Yeah, I'm just going to ignore them this time. Yeah. Last time I had to fight them because I wanted to get the energy tank, but yeah. now, <laughs> now I just don't care. You, you guys are just dumb. I don't care throw, about you. Throw, throw your hands in the air like you just don't care. Oh, wait. I can't. I'm in a morph ball. <laughs> I like this, even though, once again, it's so stupid. <laughs> it's like... So dumb. <laughs> Is it a geyser? Is it a sewage valve? 
What was the point of this? I, I think it's like a hot spring or something. I can scan it if you really want to know what no, it is. No, I don't. Because the more I learn about it, the more disappointed I'm just going <laughs> to become. <laughs> I had some friends who were like talking about like how like like Star Wars fans can get all up in arms about like the logic of Star Wars and like how it makes sense. I'm like, all right, I love Star Wars, all right? But let's chill, people. It's laser swords and space wizards we, we can just love it for that it's about triumphing over adversity and friendship and all that crap it doesn't need to have airtight logic all right it's it's just yeah let's, that's, let's chillax that's why it's um science fantasy yeah or, or future Cause... fantasy or science fantasy like we don't need to like sorry you were gonna say yeah like it's it's not meant to make sense but yeah like it makes sense on a on maybe like a philosophical or an emotional level or yeah. whatever right or you know like but like we don't have to like get detailed and be like oh man every single like logical inconsistency it's just like can we just yeah because if if we were like tearing apart its logic i could yeah. i could easily just like the first movie i'd yeah. i'd find like a million things wrong with it i'd be like yeah okay you can't actually go light speed yeah uh if you went light speed you wouldn't be able to get here to here in less than like 10 years and then you get people who are like well actually it's hyperspace where they travel into an extra pocket dimension and it's like dude can we just like, <laughs> all right can we I, like i love star wars like I, I i'm a huge star wars fan but even i'm just like dude can we just like it for what it is and chill like we don't have to we don't have to justify it <laughs> we don't need to we don't need to be like oh man this is the most logical thing in the world it's just it's just a cool story about good versus evil and crap like let's yeah. chillax hey hey trevor hey trevor yeah midi chlorians midi chlorians don't even bother me <laughs> midi chlorians anger a lot of people don't bother me i'm fine with midichlorians it's a little space disease thing fine by me yeah. a lot of people get angry about midichlorians i'm cool with midichlorians it makes it it's fine doesn't bother me a lot of people you know what else doesn't bother me either the uh pod race i like the pod race pod i like or... the pod race too yeah yeah a lot that, of that was like angry. the coolest scene in the movie i don't know if it's the coolest part but i definitely like it i, I, yeah. I definitely will say i will say the phantom menace i find it enjoyable sans jar jar binks you remove Jar Jar Binks from that movie, I find it enjoyable. Not as good as the first three movies, or not as good as New Hope through Return of the Jedi, right? Yeah, original. But, yeah. but, but, but it's, you remove Jar Jar Binks from that movie, I enjoy it. I'm not like, oh man, the Phantom Menace is so terrible. I like the politics part. I like the pod race part. I like Duel the Fates. I like, uh, what's his face? Qui-Gon Jinn. Um, okay, uh, the, the part where Anakin's like, okay, like accidentally blowing up the Death Star, or not the Death Star, but whatever the pseudo Death Star space station yeah. thing. Not a huge fan of how he just kind of bumbles his way through it, but I get mm -hmm. it. I get the point that they're trying to make in that. All right, it's a little childish, but then again, he's a child, so eh, fine. But I don't think it's as terrible as everyone makes it out to be. Um, but that being said, Jar Jar Binks does make me want to punch kittens, like so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know. I really think they should maybe, like now that Disney, like they Disney has all the money in the world, <laughs> and they have Star Wars. Yeah. So if they could remake the Phantom Menace and yeah. like fix it, because if if you just change a few like really key things, yeah, it's significantly better. Yeah. Like, no Jar Jar or like, like if you you're just gonna fix have Jar Jar, <laughs> or, or like you can have Jar Jar in the movie. Yeah. But, like, only have them be in the movie for, like, three minutes or something yeah. ins instead of, like, an hour. Yeah. We don't need every... Just reduce Jar Jar down to the scenes in which Jar Jar is necessary, and then any unnecessary Jar Jar scenes. Just gut it out. Gut it like a fish. Yeah, like, like what you could do is, um... Like, he follows them to uh, Tatooine. Yeah. Totally not necessary. Like, why, why'd they bring him oh, along? Oh, well, he, he has to be there so that he can accidentally uh, throw the thing into the machine so that they can have the pod race part where the machine malfunctions and the smoke gets in the subbulbous face. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the airtight logic character, the, the, the psycho fan trying to justify Jar Jar's existence. No, no, we can cut him out of this. He doesn't have to go with them. We yeah. can just have the, yeah, the ship mount. A rock could hit it, and we don't have to have that scene with Jar Jar. <laughs> yeah. A, a rock could hit it, or something could go wrong, or somebody else could mess it up. <laughs> Make R2-D2 break it. I don't care. 
Yeah, just, you know, change a few key things and then it's a better movie. But keep the music. The music's good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's good music. Yeah. All right, so are we finding the thing? Do we... <laughs> So yeah, we're we're looking for like our newest power up, but it's really far away, so we're probably not going to get to it in this episode. Okay. But on the way, we're going to collect a bunch of like stuff. Energy some energy falcons. falcons, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So uh, the reason I changed, uh, so the reason I changed all my social media to Energy Falcon was I finally decided I'm like, all right, so I'm gonna have a YouTube channel where I'm gonna do some music stuff, and I figured out what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna talk about it today, but mm. I figured out what I want to do. I, I finally figured out my shtick and my angle and my my goal and blah 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 and all that kind of stuff but i wanted to be energy falcon because i love mega man bosses or mega man x bosses and i wanted right. to like ha i wanted to be like a mega man x boss yeah that does sound like a Mega man boss so yeah like i wanted to like draw him and like have like a couple different iterations of him and and um and have that be like my symbol so like or like my you know what i mean oh, like the... oh you little Whoa. <laughs> and so like that was my whole thing and i figured that would be like a kind of like branding thing because i love peregrine falcons they're like one of my favorite animals and they're not necessarily my favorite bird my favorite bird is penguins but uh and then flamingos but peregrine falcons are my third favorite but i do like the idea of like the energy falcon as like a character to be like yeah. i don't feel like i'm a penguin or, or i feel like i'm a penguin in a goofy sense but like as a musician i feel i'm more like a falcon so um that's a very abstract sentence um <laughs> yes uh trevor is a falcon confirmed as a as a musician yeah so um and then the whole energy falcon thing from from shovel knight in that episode i was talking about like how i'm like i'm like i'm 30 i'm 30 percent uh what was it 30 percent geek 30 percent hipster 30 percent hippie and then an energy falcon came down and was like they were attacking me and i'm like 10 percent energy falcons and I, after that like that just be stuck in my head and i was like okay and that kind of uh, i i figured i'd run with it and see where it goes yeah what is that what is that what does that dude it's a space party he's just got like a oh, jetpack jet <laughs> i like how they wiggle around when you hit them like that ah! <laughs> We got a shortcut because we can use this spider ball. Spider ball. Doing the things. This spider ball. Oh, wait. Wrong sound. Um, <laughs> we, we've we got like a ton of stuff this episode. Like we got an energy tank. We got a bunch of missiles. We got an artifact, which is like the thing you have to get in the game. Yeah. Which wasn't very labeled well. Well, if you, uh, if you play the game like how you're supposed to, like we skip some stuff kind of yeah we're kind of we're we're not speed running but we're kind of we're, we're playing through the game like real fast yeah like we're semi. impatienting <laughs> yeah we're, we're like semi speed running yeah. like most people it would take them like five to ten hours to get to this point yeah it's been like one one and a half hours yeah so we're, this, uh, this is where you fought um goliath or whatever yeah big, big stone guy yeah <laughs> what was it i forget his name Mm. It was a funny name. Frosty makes snowman. <laughs> Frosty the snowman. <laughs> he makes Frosties for you. I like this purple door. I like that shade of purple. It's a very specific shade of purple that I like. Yeah. It's, you could say uh, it looks neon. Because <laughs> uh... with the neon cheetahs, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's funny. <laughs> yeah, and then... Whoa, what's up with that ice? It was like weird all right anyways it's icy yeah <laughs> can you break that ice can you break that ice with your cannon uh no i i need the plasma beam oh uh, okay yeah oh no, you don't have that yet no it's gonna be a while till we have the plasma beam oh we i like oh. <laughs> uh that's just a shortcut to the place where we got the uh the thermal Energy visor falcons woo yeah. I don't actually know what they were, but that they they were moving. Oh, the name of the Energy Falcons in Shovel Knight are called Birder. I had to look that up. Birder. Yeah, they obviously didn't. They weren't very creative with that name. Yacht Club. <laughs> they were like, well, you know, you make an, an indie game and then you just sometimes you run out of ideas. <laughs> yeah, I know. I just think it was funny. It was like Birder. Oh, there's Metroid. Oh, so cute. Mm -hmm. Oh, destroyed. 
I, I would like to do a playthrough of this game where you don't kill any of the Metroids and you just get them to follow you around <laughs> everywhere. Well, you do have to kill Metroid Prime. Oh. Because it's the final boss. Anyways, we're, we've uh, we've stumbled into a new area, and we've been recording for a long time. So. 50 minutes. You want to save? <laughs> I'm not going to save until I make sure the footage isn't corrupted like last time. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. See you all next time.